Um, with this plate, well, with the other plate I got away with uh, it having screw holes on the corners, on each corner. This one didn't have that. So what I did was, went to Lowe's or you can go to an auto store and got some JB Weld. These are the legs from the Jovi XY table that I no longer use. Waste of money. Um, but anyways, I got some JB Weld. I took uh, I took some uh, a Dremel tool and scratched up the bottom of the plate and scratched made some scratches on top of the posts and then JB welded it together let it sit overnight um, then I put it over here I turned it on and turned it up and the first time you heat it up it cures the cures the JB weld even more and strengthens it so that's how I got my legs right now anyways that's that that's how I set my presto pancake maker Riddle up. Anyways, what else can I tell you? Um, oh yeah, I remember something I was thinking about. Okay. Also, you can read online. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's over here. No, nope, that's not it. I almost set the camera down, it's over there. Okay. This, let me turn this light off, is the bolt mod for the Xbox. Let's see if I got a website address. get you to this xbox chop shop com forward slash catalog forward slash man underscore 360 uh, underscore open dot php I don't know anyways I got this offline when I first started a long time ago um, now here he tells you you can get all of these parts at Lowe's and since I do so many of them um, that I needed more and I needed, needed a better price. So, I found Granger. Um, Granger, you can get a, you know, a box of these at a fraction of the price of what Lowe's will charge you. Um, I think the washers only came in a pack of 400 though, or the nylon washers. Um, here's some part numbers for Granger that I looked up. If you want to write them down, if you're going to do lots of these, or if you just want to get a better deal. Anyways, you pretty much go bolt, metal washer, nylon washer, nylon washer, metal washer, and the heat sink. That's the bolt mod. But, this metal washer, I replaced with a lock washer because I've opened up some Xboxes that have had the bolt mod and the screws are always loose. Go figure. Heat, no lock washer, they're gonna loosen. And you're not doing any good with the bolt mod if you don't keep it tight. So you can also, as an extra precaution for them not coming open or not getting loose, um, I buy this at Napa. Two part, you uh, mix them together and then they harden after 15 minutes. You can put some of that around those bolts on the bottom of the motherboard so they don't uh, loosen up on you. Um, also, at Granger, 
Um, let's see here. That Granger. These are what I use for my laptop motherboard. These are 440 standoffs, one inch long, with a male end and female end. I don't even put anything on the bottom. I just put this against the bottom of the motherboard and then put one of the 440 screws on top. And uh, I put that in all the holes on the laptop motherboard. And then I put it on this and it keeps it completely flat. I know it's completely flat because all the bottom of the male parts are touching the griddle. And on my last griddle they would not because the middle was bowed. And I can't have that. It's got to stay completely flat. So those are the 440s. Standoffs, one inch. Uh, you won't find them anywhere else but Granger. Uh, well you'll find them but... The best place I found them was Granger. Lowe's don't carry this stuff. You just get them in little packets. And they're outrageously, outrageously priced. Okay, so that's the 440s. I also have the, this set up in... So I got 440s, 632s, and 832s. I don't even use the 832s. I don't, most motherboard holes are too small. And the 832s won't fit in. So I just use the 632s. Okay, I think I've told you everything that I could as far as where I get my supplies. Okay, you can see our dots moving off a little bit. Alright. So we're at 90 degrees, and so now I'm going to turn the upper heater on. Fast reflow. And we're going to let this thing get to 110. Thing sucks on zoom. All right, we're at a hundred. Right now, I got my level. My upper heater set at four. I'm gonna swing it over at one ten, and then I'm gonna move it down to level three. side note when you tighten up these bolts on the uh, Xbox jig or the PlayStation jig I just barely I mean I screw them all the way to the board and then I just give them a slight t uh, torque I don't put the grind to the, the screwdriver and torque the shit out of them I don't do that excuse my French or my language anyways we're at 109 that's good enough swinging it over Moving it down to three. One well, of the best things I bought with this system was this freaking light. It was 50 bucks, but I use it non stop. Don't flux underneath of it. You're gonna have a harder time picking up the chip. Been there. 
I've seen other videos where guys don't flux. They say something happens to the board. I don't have any problems when I use this liquid flux, so I will continue to do it. We're at 195, 197. It definitely helps with the uh, PlayStation uh, chips because they got that uh, heat sink on top of it, which makes it so heavy. And I'm not having any troubles lifting those up at all. I used I did when I first started when I was having troubles. I don't have any troubles at all lifting them since I flux them now. Alright, 217. Um, when you move the upper heater, always lift, has some tension like you're pulling it up before you uh, undo the latch because if you don't, it'll just drop. Alright, we're at 226. Turn my pump on. 228. Raise it back up. Voila. Turn off your upper heater. Turn off your hot plate. Let it sit for about a minute. My reds just took the lead on the Dodgers. Sorry if you're a Dodgers fan. But you guys whipped our butt the first series. Okay, so chip is off. I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. I won't turn on the fan on the uh, Jovi for a while. I like to let it self cool. I'm gonna uh, get uh, the chip set up in the blue jig and then I'll turn it back on. Okay, turn on your uh, soldering iron. Set mine to 320C. Go ahead and flux this. Now I use the low melt the whole time now since I got so much of it and I found it at a good deal. Cut me off a piece. This is my soldering iron tip that I use. 